Hello, I'm going to show you how to install multiple keyboard input languages as well as the keyboard viewer which will allow you to better memorize new keyboard formats. To begin, click Start, then Control Panel, then Clock Language and Region, then click Change Keyboards or Other Input Methods. Underneath the Keyboards and Languages tab, click Change Keyboards. Under the General tab, click Add. Here you will scroll down and find languages which you would like to add. Most of the time they will be minimized unless you already have them selected. Then you can extend them and you can select other keyboards to use. You can select multiple keyboards under a single language and then you will have multiple options for that particular language. So let's scroll down. We will add the French keyboard and the US keyboard for French. And let's add the German keyboard for German. And click OK. Now you have a list of several keyboards here. If you added a language by mistake, you can click remove and that removes the language and all of the keyboards. If you added a particular keyboard by mistake, just click that keyboard and then click remove. You can change your default input language up here by selecting which keyboard you would like as your default and then click apply. Now select the language bar tab and make sure that you have docked in the taskbar selected here. The default is usually floating on desktop and that puts the bar up here. It's much more convenient docked in the taskbar however and then your options appear here. So click OK and notice down here you can change the language by selecting the initials for the language English or French and the keyboard input by selecting the keyboard icon and then selecting which option you prefer. Now remember we only selected one keyboard type for French and so the keyboard disappears when that option is not available. For all Latin based alphabets that use alphabets similar to English but just have accented characters, the ideal keyboard for you to use is the United States International Keyboard. That allows you to use specific accent code uh, combinations. For example, apostrophe plus a letter will place an accent above that letter. Shift and tilde plus the letter will allow you to create a tilde above the letter for Spanish or Portuguese and other languages that use such characters. Now once you have set up your languages, you can close out of those windows. If you're having difficulty figuring out which letters you're typing and which ones are appearing on the screen and you need to learn your keyboard format, click Start, go to the Control Panel, click Ease of Access, go to the Ease of Access Center, and click Start on Screen Keyboard. And then you can close the Ease of Access Center. The on-screen keyboard will show you what characters are available to you, and if you press the shift key, it shows you what characters are available when shifting. If you change the language, let's change it to French, notice that we can now see all of the French characters where they are, and that they are not in the same position that they were in English. This is an important distinction to make between the US versions of foreign language keyboards and the versions of those keyboards used in those countries themselves. The keyboard viewer is an excellent way to memorize a keyboard format and knowing the keyboard format that you will use if you travel to another country is an important thing. However, for English and the United States International Keyboard, this is the layout. And the layout is very similar, almost identical to the regular US format you will just be using combinations of letters such as apostrophe and a vowel to create combinations of accented letters. This is much simpler than typing in number codes and it is also much more functional 
and is more useful for many other websites and other programs that don't allow you to type in the number combinations.